friends, do you know? The bilateral trade volume between China and Africa will reach 282.1 billion US dollars in 2023, and China has maintained its status as Africa's largest trading partner for 15 consecutive years. But what you may not know is that this achievement is the result of China's annual investment of up to 47 billion US dollars. Interestingly, China has 832 national level poverty stricken counties with more than 22 million people below the poverty line. So why does China not concentrate its resources on developing these poor areas, but instead invest huge amounts of money in aiding Africa every year? Before revealing the answer to this question, we need to understand a basic fact. China's aid to Africa is not only RMB, but also huge foreign exchange reserves. Data shows that as of August 2023, China's foreign exchange reserves reached 3.1601 trillion US dollars. In recent years, with the rapid development of China's manufacturing industry, its total product exports have significantly exceeded its imports. This resulted in large amounts of foreign exchange flowing into China. But China's national currency is the renminbi which means the foreign exchange earned by companies must be converted into renminbi before it can be used domestically. In this case, the central bank has to issue more RMB to purchase these foreign exchanges, thus increasing the supply of RMB. But this could lead to a reduction in its purchasing power, raising the risk of inflation. To avoid this risk, investing becomes an ideal option. Africa, as one of the key areas for China's foreign investment, has naturally become an important destination for foreign exchange reserves. So why has Africa, which has relatively poor economic conditions, become China's main aid target? Since the beginning of the 21st century, China's demographic dividend has gradually faded, and global manufacturing giants have begun to look for new investment destinations. In this wave, Southeast Asia and Africa have become high-profile investment destinations. But compared with Southeast Asia, Africa is undoubtedly more attractive because of its unique demographic advantages. Take Nigeria, for example. The country has a population of 200 million, twice that of Vietnam. What is even more striking is that Nigeria is very likely to become the third most populous country in the world in the future, after China and India. This means that Africa has a huge labor reserve, providing a solid foundation for the development of manufacturing. In terms of labor costs, although labor prices in Southeast Asia are relatively cheap, they are still higher compared with Africa. As global manufacturing capacity shifts to Southeast Asia, labor costs in the region will rise rapidly. In contrast, Africa has abundant labor resources and relatively low prices, allowing manufacturing companies to achieve higher cost efficiency here. On the other hand, African countries have launched a series of tax and land preferential policies in order to attract foreign investment. In addition, Africa's exports to Europe and the United States also enjoy some special preferential policies. Take the United States as an example. Under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, dozens of African countries can enjoy tariff reductions on thousands of products exported to the United States. The EBA agreement signed between the EU and African countries allows all products produced in Africa to be exported to Europe at zero tariff, except for weapons. In the current context of frequent trade frictions, Chinese goods exported to the United States face extremely high tariff costs. When China invests and sets up factories in Africa, it can make full use of these preferential policies and minimize tariff costs. Take Huawei as an example. The company has established R&D centers and production bases in many African countries, which not only reduces production costs, but also increases profitability by taking advantage of Africa's preferential tax policies. At the same time, Huawei products have also achieved good sales results in the African market, further proving the huge potential for investment in Africa. In addition to the above advantages, another important reason for China to invest in Africa is that Africa has rich natural resources. 
As we all know, the African continent is rich in valuable resources, including crude oil, manganese, copper, etc., which are crucial to the industrialization process. However, in the past, these resources were often not fully developed and were obtained by Western countries at low prices, resulting in meager profits for African countries. As a rapidly developing economy, China has huge demand for oil, natural gas, minerals, and other resources, and the risks brought by relying on external supplies cannot be ignored. Therefore, China's investment in African resources not only ensures the stability of resource supply, but also achieves mutual benefit and win-win results with Africa. Taking oil as an example, China has become an important partner in Africa's oil exports. The two sides have established a stable cooperative relationship, which not only ensures China's energy security, but also brings economic benefits to Africa. It is worth mentioning that although China has become an important force in the global economy, its influence on the international stage still needs to be further expanded. It is precisely out of such strategic considerations that China has continuously increased its aid to Africa in recent years. From infrastructure construction to medical and health care, from agricultural technology to education and training, China's aid covers every corner of the African continent. These specific aid projects have not only significantly improved the living conditions of the African people, but also helped China win valuable support from African countries and international organizations such as the United Nations. Take the reform of the United Nations Security Council as an example. China has been actively promoting efforts to increase the representation of developing countries in the Security Council. Thanks to its long-term help and cooperation, China has won widespread support from African countries on the issue of Security Council reform, further enhancing China's geopolitical status.